playing 34 years and I never was a long hitter. For me, it would help uh, tremendously if I could hit it 20, 30 yards farther. Ultimately, it's a different release pattern and we're going to explore these release patterns but they require a whole different body movement. So it's like, we're not just changing the way we move the club. Use the elbow to rotate the disc. The S. I mean, that's power. That's a power move. That's using... You see, the body's got to be able to spring to be able to drop. So you drop, and now it can spring. Yes. That's the... Uh... That's the extra club, the 20 yards. That's the one that you carry. That was that's the extra one. 20, yeah? yeah I always say this is not a magic pill. This is like exploring your capability, realizing as much of that and action in it as much as possible. And for you to realize the potential that you're holding and that is there to be accessed and, and create a learning environment for you to go on and develop it more. Mm -hmm. So you continue to improve. So it's not like this is the end game, this is your swing, off you go, that's it now. It's like, this is just the start of what you can do. How long have you been playing golf? 34 years. 34 years. years. What's your exact handicap? Exact uh, 8.6. 8.6. I'm playing 34 years and I never was a long hitter. Okay. So and even while aging, I lost a couple of yards too. So for me, it would help uh, tremendously if I could hit it 20, 30 yards farther. Seven iron, I hit around 130, 135 yards. Okay. And the driver around 220 yards. So that's not so much, you know. No. <laughs> if I could improve there a little bit, I think yeah. it would be yeah. a baby. Going in with more loft, essentially, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. with your next exactly. shot. Exactly, exactly. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So advancing it as far as you can, so you're going with as much loft, so you've got more control mm -hmm. of what you're doing, essentially. Yeah. And that's why what I that's saw in your videos, uh, your system uses much of the lower body, you know? Yeah, so, it does. Uh -huh. The ground, it the uses. Ground, yeah, exactly. We're using the lower body to use the ground. Mm -hmm. What we've got to ensure is that we can get those forces from the ground, though. We're not just creating them, we've got to get them through the body. Mm -hmm. We've got to get them to the club head. It's recognising the whole sequence, the flow. Let's hit a few shots then and uh, see how we go in. Okay. So distance is the key, is the priority. No worries, that's... We're going to hit a few loads of shots just to mm -hmm. loosen up, Peter. Nice, warming up. Getting warm a little bit, yeah. What's the general trend to the game? Do you tend to shape it left to right, right to left? We are going more or less straight, not too much uh, slicing or, or hooking. Recently, I, I, I pull it a little bit to the left. Okay. Yeah. I did some videos, slow motion, you, you could see that I'm almost casting a little bit. Like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the pull, yeah? That's the pull, yeah, exactly. And I, I, I can... I try to uh, open the club a little bit, you know, and it goes more straight. It's not much curvy, isn't it? No, I mean, it's, that's a, it's a bit of a fade, that one, mm -hmm. that's all. It's really important we do see if there's any curvature, no matter how little or how much, we uh -huh. see the spin. So with the tendency there is to hit a little bit clean, mm -hmm. okay, a little bit thin, or just catch the ground a little bit. Obviously sometimes you, you catch it just right. But Hi guys, we've just got back from the Belfry. It was our very first Zen Golf Mechanics coaching trip, and we've got another one coming, and it's in Turkey, and it's at the end of November. It's a great price. We've got five nights, four days. Each day we have three and a half hours of coaching on all areas of the game. It's a deep dive, very immersive experience of Zen Golf Mechanics, and then we've got the tour player experience with Foz and Belte. It really is an amazing week. We're at the Gloria Resort in Turkey. Fantastic course, amazing hotel. Can't wait to go. Great sun, great weather. It's gonna be fantastic. Guys, check out the link and look forward to seeing you there. We know the low point is a little bit too far back. Mm -hmm. We also know that we're swinging, therefore, a little bit left. The thing is, if the low point's back here, just behind the ball, you're catching it as the path starting to go left. If you just close the face to that a little bit, you get mm -hmm. the pull. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if your face just stays fairly square, it starts fairly straight and has a tiny, tiny bit of fade, okay, which looks pretty straight. We're releasing to the low point 
and we're striking the ball just after it, which means we're adding loft, but we're also hitting it lower off the face. This disguises things because when you hit the ball low off the face, you get gear effect. So what happens is these, these balls all sound a little bit, just if we look at the club, they're all off the, yeah. the low part of the face. Now when you're hitting a golf ball here, what happens is it deflects it somewhat. So you still get a, a fairly normal trajectory, but it spins it up. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're loading the golf ball with spin. It's not really giving us much option to transfer that club head speed through to ball speed. Because as soon as we load it with loft, we've got friction. We've got, we've got air resistance, mm -hmm. we've got suddenly now it's just slowing down and it's gonna rise as well. So it's, it kind of get that kind of balloony fly. We're not getting that energy transfer, that optimal energy transfer from the club head to the ball yeah, yeah. with a delivery of the club head that's gonna give us maximum ball speed for our club head speed. So we wanna change the dynamics of how we're delivering the club to the golf ball. Ultimately, it's a different release pattern and we're gonna explore these release patterns, but they require a whole different body movement to move the club a different way. That requires this to be different. That requires this to move different, this, 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 and the whole body has to move different. So it's a reinvention of the whole system. The form changes. It's like, how does that feel? How do we create the movement to do that with the club? So first of all, we've got to recognize movement with, of the club itself and how we move this without having to physically manipulate it. All I want you to do, Peter, is just swing the club. Just swing the club head. How would you swing the club head from here? What would you do to swing that? Yeah, you move, move it. Uh -huh. So you move this side to side and you get a swing, you get a reaction. So this moved in a response to this and this swung after you move this. So you move this first, this reacts. So when I move it that way and then I move it this way, I've now got lag. So now the club is lagging. What I had to do was I had to move the end of the club, the butt end, side to side. So it's this action as opposed to this action. Mm -hmm. Different feel? Very different. Yeah. This is moving the low point forward, changing the path, but more importantly, starting to provide the opportunity to present the sweet spot to the golf ball and get that optimal strike on the ball. So we get that distance. Just step on there for me Peter and do the same thing now in the air, side to side, just feel it. So notice how you have to use the board. Brilliant. And this is extreme. If you step forward onto the, onto the carpet there, just keep swinging in the air. Same thing now, just around the body. Brilliant. Different feel? It is. Yeah. yeah. This is also going to give you the opportunity now to not have to try and swing right for a draw or feel the arc or manipulate the arc with the club head because just by you starting to shift and release later, your low point's moving forward and you've got a little draw arc. Because as soon as we start rotating this, and we start rotating, you're going to start to create synergy and harmonise this. And it becomes what we know as timing. We start to feel our movement in space and we we recognise it as a ball fly. It can twist fast and stop and change direction because we're using force here, we can control that with the friction. And then if we can step back down to the mat and just feel that interaction with the ground. Yeah, it's awesome. Different feel? Yeah. Let's have a few shots. Just not really paying too much attention to how good the shot is. That's not really a performance indicator. It's more about the change of movement. And it's going to be, yeah, absolute chaos to start with. <laughs> yeah, it is. And not yet feel the, the handle the right place. Yeah, this is the big blockage. Mm -hmm. So this is like preventing you from accessing your body movement. That was better, that was something different there. It's, it's different. definitely different. Okay, last one, before it gets really different. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we're going to use these tennis balls for a start. Okay. <laughs> oh, it wants to fire back, and it's going to fire back, but when we do it, some vertical. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to go with that rotation we did at the beginning, mm -hmm. and we're going to swing it back, and we're going to drop, then pop. So you're going to do exactly what you just did, Okay, but then you're going to bring up, so you're going to go 
and that's going to fire the club. So there's suddenly now a load that you can start to feel. And again, it takes a few swings to get the, the timing. Good. It's kind of at the, at the same time. We've got to get a lot earlier. Now, as you're throwing it back, mm -hmm. we're dropping and popping. The use of the tennis ball is much earlier. Well done. And it threw you back. So we started to drop. Good. Now, we're going to explore that um, with a divot. We're just going to dip outside. Just explore that divot. No, not yet. No, exactly. I so I, I don't get low enough. Eh? No. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'm forward enough. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna get we'll get there in a second. Just gonna see if you can work it out first. I am afraid of the ground. Eh? Yeah, it is. You swung on an angle and moved a certain way that just doesn't enable you to do this. So let's use now, let's use the left hand, little swings and just drop and pop and let the rotation of the face do it. Yeah. So the way we're gonna rotate the face though, that way, mm -hmm. is the ground. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Different feel? Very much. It's, it's so much ejectorated, you know. It is, yeah. and this is how we rotate, because mm -hmm. if you hold it there, what you've, all you've done really, see, it's not, it's just a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From here, all you've done is that. Mm -hmm. You're experiencing what it's going to be like when you're actually now, just grip it with your right hand. Now shuffle back here with your feet, keep that there, keep that there, come back to me. Now rotate your body that way a bit more, there we go. Now without stopping, mm -hmm. swing back and through, half swing and take a divot. Good, and there's the divot. There we go. So this is how we take the divot. Now, you can, to take a bigger divot, just swing more up. There we go. Notice you swung more up, but look where the divot's pointing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still out to the right. So you've still got a path to the right, even though you're swinging more up and down. So you can swing more upright than that. Yeah. That's the sound. So now, from having mm -hmm. no divert, mm -hmm. now it's easy. Yeah. Because what you've got is that missing component of how you rotate the face. Because you were rotating it like this. Yeah. So your mechanism to square the face was just basically shallowing the swing out. So I was, I'm closing the face, but I can't get yeah, exactly. into the ground. That's wow. a different shot. <laughs> nice one. Amazing, amazing. It's a totally different feel of strike, isn't it? It is. It feels like a compressed. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Notice what's happened to your strike on your club face. Have a look. It's going up. Yeah. And they hit it in the, in the, yeah. in the middle. In the... And it's going up the face. Yeah. So it's going up more towards the speed spot. Yeah. It's not so low. We're just going to go back inside. We're going to come outside again. But okay. So we need to drop. Now, hold it. Yeah, just want you to drop. So fall and drop. Now spring up with the pelvis. You're staying down. So we want the pelvis. Up. So drop first. You drop. Now spring up. Yes. You see, the body's got to be able to spring to be able to drop. So <laughs> you drop. Now it can spring. What we want to do is use the vertical. Yeah. On the way back as well. So we've got to drop and pop, drop and then, there we go. Excellent. And this is what's been missing. Let's hit a few shots here and explore it. Well done. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. See the distance, now you're rotating the face. Now what's taking you in this direction is the drop with the shift. That's taking you here yeah. and then the pop, that just releases. Well done. Nice. Well done. Oh, that's better. Sure. Yeah. That's the strike. Now you've got the shot. You want to move that to the right. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything fancy. You just shift directly. Shift. shift. You don't have to aim that way. You just use your shift. That's it. Nice one. That is it. Great shot. That is it. Wow. Amazing. That was
was awesome. So you've got the strike, you've got the fly. That was awesome. Great, great movement. Yes. Well, Peter. That's the uh, that's the extra cloth. That's the twenty yards. That's the one fifty carry. Well, that was. That's the extra one. twenty, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the extra. The fifty. That's fifteen yard carry extra. That, that's yeah. a one fifty. So that's right. an extra club, isn't it? I'd mm -hmm. say that was over. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Yeah. One five five. So you spring up and the knee goes out. Yeah. For this exercise, so just drop down, drop, 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 and go straight up with the pelvis. That's it. And then just a the twist. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Shot, Peter. It's better. And it changes everything. Mm -hmm. Mm. Use the elbow to rotate the disc. Yes. Now we that's it. I mean, that's power. That's a power move. That's using it's... the ground and the whole chain. This is the kind of movement you can use to get off the floor and create the space to release later. Your body's never really known how to release later. That's why you've never taken many diverts. Yeah. Have a couple of shots playing around with that. It's going to have to Swing so far right here, Peter. Yes. Because feel the quality of the strike then. And so effortless. Look at that. Yes. Shots. Look at that. And that was the that was the spray. So you can appreciate you've only been using kind of two thirds of your motion. Yeah. Really. Exactly. Well done. Nice one. You've got a lovely finish that you really want to use. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> used to that. <laughs> show it off. Ex exactly, show it off. Yeah. It's a way of, yeah, expressing yourself, the golf swing. Exactly. It's a great shot out of that lie. Use this force to yeah. give you the finish, which yeah. is an expression. It slowly it comes into place. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. does. And today's just the start. It's, mm. a, it's, the be it's the beginning. Yeah. You're doing brilliant. It's all brand new, isn't it? It is, so, it is, absolutely. But it's there, you can do it, that's the thing. But, you know,